Hi! We're gonna see how to record groups and use them through different kind of containers. So, first of all, to create a group, you need to select channels by all the ways we have already seen in uh, previous uh, tutorials. And then you have a lot of different ways to proceed. So let's do it first with the mouse. So uh, as soon as you get your selection ready somewhere, you can drag and drop the selection in the group window where you choose record new group and then set a name and record new. Second option is to again select your selection here and drag and drop it into the group tab of your play menu and again record new group and so on. This is the main way to do it by the mouse. Then if you want to do it through the keyboard on your console you of course again select any channels you need and then on your console you press and hold the record key and at the same time you press group which opens the same kind of window as we got with the mouse and record new again. Let's have a look to this window now. You have a couple of things you can change there. So, of course, the name you can enter and the different type of source. Uh, first, you can decide if you want to record the selected channels or the active channels on stage, which means the ones with uh, levels. And the second filter is to choose between stage and field. So, for example, if your channels are on stage because they are sent by a submaster, choosing field will not record them because field is related to the current playback. We will see all these options uh, more deeply in the next uh, tutorials talking about presets and recording cues and, and things. So at this step if you want to be sure you, you keep stage uh, checked such that you will record on stage the ones which are selected. And that's it to record group. Then to use them, it's quite easy. Uh, so for example, you can select them directly from the uh, group panel, which lets you click and select whatever is in. And as you can see here, you see that there is this small symbol at the top right corner of the buttons, which shows you exactly how your group are compared to the current selection. So for example, if, if you remember in this group, the latest, we record this one, two and three channels. Which means that when I click on the group, I select these channels and I get this small uh, checkbox here to show that it's exactly matching the content of my group. Now, if I deselect this one, as you can see now, it's changing here. Let me do it bigger. Oops. And you see that now the 
red circle is uh, inside a black circle, which shows that the current selection is smaller than the group. Because the group is uh, channels 1, 2 and 3, and now the current selection in 1 and 2, it does mean that the current selection is contained in the group but is not complete. So if I click back on uh, channel 3, I get again my checkbox to say it's exactly matching to the current selection. And if I click now on an, another channel which is not in my group, now this symbol is exactly the opposite, which means my current selection is bigger than the group contained, which makes sense because now I have one channel more than the group contained. So this symbol here is quite interesting because in uh, one glance you click somewhere and you see immediately in which groups my channels are contained and so on. So it's a very nice indication. Okay, so to use your groups you can of course click on one group as we said. If you want to add another group to your current selection, uh, of course if you click on another one it will just select the new one but deselect the previous selection. So if you want to combine the current selection, so let's say this one for example, plus another selection, you need to press plus on your console and then click on the other group you would like to select. And now, as you can see, I have here my uh, Robin are selected there and I have kept my first selection. So it's quite easy. Now let's take my channel from this group. It's 1, 2 and 3. I would like now I decide to remove uh, channel 2 from this group. It's quite easy. I can double click here just to select channel 2 and deselect the others. And then I can drag and drop this channel onto the group. And then here you have different choice or where you can decide if you want to replace the current content of this group, which means that if I replace now I will have only channel 2 in my group and I will lose anything else. Or I can merge intensity into group, which means that if this channel I am dragging is not already in my group, it will be added. And then remove means that I will take this channel out of my group. So let's choose this option here. And then now I deselect everything. And if I select again my group, as you can see now, my channel 2 is not anymore selected. So this group has been uh, modified, directly dragging some channels onto that button. If I want to have a look into my group, it's quite easy. I can right click here and uh, edit group, where I can modify things uh, on the fly and that's it. I can just get out and confirm I want to recall this change with a new name. Um, I can also drag and drop my selection. So let's take this one for example and just drag it into the group tab of the play menu and again I will get this option to record from there. I can double click here on my group 
16 to open the edition window where I can change the name, I can change the level, whatever I need and right and click to close and confirm and um, I can uh, also delete a channel from a group like we did on the group buttons the same way last important thing to know is that your groups are selections of channels and also they can store the values at the same time so for example if we take uh, some new channels and give them a value and record that in a new group. Now this group contains some value that I can edit into the group of course and uh, how to use this uh, values now. For example I would like to call this group here with the uh, values recorded so let's start from zero and so the selection would be on your console you could say for example uh, 16 and you press group which selects the group 16 or there is another syntax to call a group where you can say 16 dots so you use the dot key on your console and channel which exactly the same thing it's another way to call a group so now if you want to see how to use this uh, group so maybe uh, this one has nothing, this one, yeah, this one has some levels. So you could, in this case, you could say 14, so you press 14 on your console, and you press together the group key on your console and at which recall directly your group with the levels already contained in there. Another way to proceed would be to call again your group 14. So let's use the dot syntax. So 14 dot channel. So now they are selected and then I can use the 14 dot fetch key which brings your channel. The fetch, we will see it later again, but the fetch function basically is a function which is able to go into the object you specify first and to grab the values back to where you want. So in this example, we went into the group 14 to look at the values and bring, bring these values back into uh, our uh, playback we are working on. And that's pretty it about group. You can see there are a lot of different combinations to use them all the time to record, modify on the fly and uh, mix them together, selection with multiple groups and, uh, and use the values as well. See you soon for a next uh, video.